Wuhan coming back to life. A light show celebrating the reopening of the Chinese city of 11 million, where the coronavirus outbreak first emerged in December. Travel restrictions lifted Wednesday, allowing people to leave the city for the first time since its lockdown began 76 days ago. Tens of thousands expected to leave by air, rail and road. But strict measures are in place over fears of a second wave of the virus. Travelers have to prove they're healthy through temperature checks and show green colored QR codes on their phones verifying their health status. According to official numbers, more than 50,000 people in Wuhan caught the virus, more than 2,500 died. Only three new cases were reported in the city in recent weeks. Lockdowns still in effect in Europe, which is home to about half of the world's roughly one and a half million confirmed COVID-19 cases. Deaths in Spain climbed for a second consecutive day to more than 14,500. In France, the death toll surpassing 10,000. Paris imposing tougher restrictions Wednesday to keep people indoors. Jogging is now banned between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily. Sadly, of those in hospital, 7,097 have now died. An increase of 938 fatalities since yesterday. That update from the UK, where British Prime Minister Boris Johnson remains in intensive care after being admitted to hospital with worsening coronavirus symptoms Sunday. But officials say his condition is improving. I can also tell you that he has been sitting up in bed and engaging positively with the clinical team. The 55-year-old British leader has received oxygen support but was not put on a ventilator. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.